Greetings, hi, the war, I'll greet you. And I'm gonna be showing you here, once again, another five versus five Counter-Strike Global Offensive match. And this one is going to be, from the ESL, is gonna be between the ninjas in pajamas here as the terrorist team. Um, and they'll be playing on the terrorist side first. It looks like we are going right into this thing, pushing inside, and they'll be playing against... ESC here. ESC, one of the best Counter-Strike Global Offensive teams. Uh, they're the winners of the SLTV Star Series, and uh, Ninjas in Pajamas, however, is the winner of everything else. They've only lost one official game, and uh, all right, so looks like they're going to be pushing inside here. We look at their map, they're going to be pulling back. So Freiburg there was actually just going to be a distraction for these players as they now move outside. Here is Exist, taking a kill with that block. On this first round on train, it's so difficult. All you're really trying to do as the terrorist side is get that bomb down for that money. So here they go now. Exist waiting for the player at the train. And that's going to be Neo there. Neo does get by. No, he doesn't. Exist takes him down. One player left. That's going to be Taz. Taz, a formidable opponent, but picks up the P250 and does go down. The ninjas in pajamas do win round number one. So we're jumping right into this thing. And on train, by the way, gotta preface this whole map, this whole game with this. Train is an incredibly counter-terrorist-sided map. It is the single most counter-terrorist-sided map in the game right now. So Ninjas in Pajamas winning that first round is incredibly important. Now you'll see this a lot. Players are going to split up all around the map and play very passively on this. They're not going to try and do any Blitzkrieg rushy strategies. However, look at this. Because uh, ESC has to save, they've stacked inside. They've got three players here. Um, and of course, four players actually, you can consider Neo to be playing inside. So we'll see what happens when these terrorists decide to push this way. Nope, and it looks like the terrorists now pushing back will be going outside. It's just going to be Maniac here. One player versus an entire army with his P250. P250, a good weapon, a good pistol to use if the enemies do have armor. And looks like now the terrorists will be pushing outside. Here's Forrest taking a forward position. Counter terrorists. All of them are going to have to try and rotate through that uh, Z connector here. That's not going to work out for them. And it looks like the terrorists will be able to get that bomb plant to wherever they want. All the terrorists are actually running around the back. Um, so it's going to be Git right here who will engage this first. And there's one. Oh, good spray control. Git right taking him down. Need not killing him though. Oh my. Counter terrorists do not stand a chance. Pasha though. Taken down, get right before going down himself. ESC Gaming definitely starting this thing behind, uh, especially considering we're on train. They've already lost two rounds on the counter terrorist side. We also have to keep in mind that ninjas in pajamas here. Their weak side is the terrorist side, so this is so far looking pretty good for them right off the back. Third round already, the Flyer will be able to op, and uh, ESC Gaming still going to be pistoling that, and they will be stacking everybody outside. And it uh, looks like. The ninjas in pajamas will be pushing inside. We check back on our map. Just going to be Neo here to rotate. Should see this or hear this. Players are moving very quietly, though. So this is going to be a surprise. Ooh, did get a few shots off of that player. Neo taken down exists as they try to push into this site. Forest up on top. Has the vantage here for Flair and gets in his opera position. So that's going to be that here. I don't think the counter terrorists are going to be able to retake this anytime soon. Here's for Flair and actually will be watching the back. And uh, get right. He is going to be rotating around to try and take these guys out. Good headshot, but come on now. He's just slaughtering a bunch of defenseless, innocent save weapon guys. Get right. Drops his AK-47 and then goes down. So it looks like Maniac able to pick this thing up. Two terrorists are actually down now on a save round. They're not doing too bad. Exist. Good sportsmanship says, nice shot, Neo. Neo says, thank you. And Maniac takes down Friberg. Oh, Forrest comes in from the back and takes him down before going down. Wow! Okay, looks like the Ninjas in Pajamas lost four players on a round. They really shouldn't have lost any. And whoa, okay, Taz actually has... Taz has a... What do you call that thing? A taser there. Forget what those things are called. And we are moving on to the next round. The counter terrorists will be able to buy here. We've got Pasha opping in the back. Um, terrorists splitting up all over the map. Neo here playing the forward position, throwing a smoke. That's a defensive smoke. It will prevent these terrorists from pushing here. We'll see Exist here will not push forward in that smoke. He has to wait for it to clear. 
because when you're in that smoke, you can't see anything, and when you come out the other side, you're a sitting duck from a number of different positions. So, all right, we do have Fuflaren here with the op. Oh, there's Pasha right around the corner. We are having an op off here. Very timid. Both players cornering it. And there's this flash forcing Fuflaren to pull back a little bit. It looks like he's going back for more. Pasha still opping it. Oh, Pasha takes him out. Kills Fuflaren. And Pasha's still here. Get right is still at that position. Maniac taking a forward position. will be pushing there. All right, looking bad for the Terrace. They're now down to 45 seconds left. Gidright has picked up the AWP from the dead Fuflaren, and it looks like they're now going to be pushing into the site now. Kubin takes a player out. Neo is playing on the ground here. 20 health left. Terrace are taking position inside of the site. He does go down. Kubin still alive inside of the site. Long range battle. Kubin takes down Forest. And, oh, good shooting there, takes down Freiburg as well. Just going to be get right here with the off. We usually don't see him with the off. Is missing shots, misses two shots in a row there. Taz somehow still has that uh, taser running around with it. And get right, one player left, five seconds left. Not going to make anything happen. He does shoot a player in the foot. Pasha takes him out from behind. Okay, so ESC Gaming there, able to reclaim one point now, put themselves at the advantage. Ninjas in pajamas now, we check out their money. If they lose this round, they will have to save. That's not the position they want to be in. So ESC Gaming here, if they win this round, forces ninjas in pajamas to save. This round is pretty much worth um, two points for them. So looks like ninjas in pajamas going to be playing very far forward inside. So let's get on Neo, who is going to be playing this on the ground. Neo and Cuban play this very well here. Cuban playing a, a more back position. Generally on train, you want to put one counter terrorist inside and another in a, in a position to rotate very fast. So Cuban should be in the site now. The rotate should have been called. Neo on the ground. Terrorists are taking a little bit of position. Neo spraying common spots through the smoke, but we do have Freiburg up on top of the train there. Oh my, Neo doing a good job maneuvering himself around. And here comes Taz with the rotate. Cuban and Taz in the back of the site. Terrace will be getting that bomb down, so all the counter Terrace should be rotating at this point. Ninjas in pajamas definitely had an, uh, a positional advantage. And it looks like counter Terrace just pushing across on the floor here. All three of them. Ninjas in pajamas does have good position. Taz comes in from behind. Able to push Fuflaren out. Fuflaren does get the kill. Pasha takes him out. One player in the smoke right behind Pasha. And get right rotates from behind. Pasha takes him out and dies. It looks like Ninjas in pajamas is able to come back there. And we'll see if um, ESC will have to save. And doesn't look like they're buying just yet. Six seconds left on the buy. And we're going to have a buy here, so we do have uh, not a full, complete buy. They aren't able to get all of the flashes and smokes that they would like. Maniac, actually I think it's Pasha here, forced to buy the uh, FAMAS there. He wants to make sure he has enough money in the end uh, to buy that AWP. He's actually spent all of his money. Very good use of that. So now terrorists here, timid little standoff of Flaren playing this middle position. Not able to go for any picks because that defensive smoke is down. All right, the smoke has cleared. We'll see if he moves out a little bit. Braving it a little bit more. Terrorist still playing this very passive. Neo on the inside is pushing forward here. Neo is saving. And Taz to hold off players coming down the ladder. That's exist at the bottom. Terrace peeking all over the map. Taz spraying both of those guys down. Two headshots there, taking out Forest and Exist. Doing a great job. Only two Terrace do remain. Oh, Maniac dies and flips over backwards. Cuban inside of Bombsite A here. Excuse my mini-map. And does look like it's just going to be get right. One versus two does get surrounded. Neo and Kubin doing a great job double teaming that. Two players versus one. That's such a difficult position to be in. Because one player can move out, serve as a distraction, even get killed. And the other player will still be able to kill the single player. So ESC Gaming there now at two points. They really, they really want to start winning nearly every round here if they want a chance at winning this game. Ninjas in Pajamas already at four points. You want to try and get about five points here on terrorist side train. So Ninjas in Pajamas definitely going to be very far ahead here. All right, Neo 
Once again, switching it up, we've seen him play a bunch of different positions inside. He's been playing up, upper, um, up, upper, upper, I think that's called upper, up, upper, upper. Oh, looks like the terrorists are now pushing outside. The bomb actually does get planted here. It is a save round. And that's all they were planning to do. Bomb will be defused. Only killing one player, but uh, the whole point of that was to defuse the bomb. Taz here, suspiciously, does not have a defusal kit. However, he will defuse that bomb. Eventually. All right, Taz, so far doing a very good job in this game. We actually see him at eight kills to four deaths. All right. Looking good. Now ninjas in pajamas will be able to buy. We'll see if a flare in here does not have a good position to go for picks. So we'll see what he tries to do. And he's going to be going outside. I don't think much is going to happen here. The smoke should come down pretty soon. And there's the smoke. Does go for Pasha, though. Pasha is in the back here. The off shot did not hit him, though. Faflaren took a little bit of damage. Smokes are now down. This is allowing these terrorists to push outside. Smokes blocking off all those positions. Look at how Ninjas in Pajamas is taking this. Oh, two players actually have gone down now. Faflaren misses an off shot. Takes out Kubin. Gets on top of the train. Oh, that is going to be Neo taking him down. Get right. Playing the sneaky ninja position, coming in from behind. Usually, when we watch the ninjas in pajamas, if they're taking a site like that, they always send Get Right the other way to go for rotates to get into this uh, position, sort of blind spot that ESC is going to have when they expect ninjas in pajamas to push everybody out in one position. So, I mean, ESC Gaming should know how ninjas in pajamas plays to be able to do. I mean, there's definitely enough time here. For Get Right to win this round. 35 seconds left. He's given away his position. Taz very far forward on him. Get Right does get around the corner, though. Taz sneaking up behind him. And executed. Shot in the back. And the back of the head goes down. ESC Gaming able to maintain uh, their economic momentum here. So if the Ninjas in Pajamas loses another round, I think they're going to have to save. I don't think they have to save. Yeah, actually, they will be saving this time. We'll be pistoling it. Looks like they're going to be rushing inside. Let's get on Neo and watch him mow these guys down. So deciding to do a defensive smoke here. He hears them. We see them going down now. Neo does have position on them. We heard him in his headphones jumping by. We'll be going upper. Throws a defensive smoke. It'll prevent those terrorists from pushing down there. And those are good flashbangs. Holding those players off. Taz somehow gets a nade in there from behind. Now, holding them off, what Neo did is he allowed the counter terrorists to rotate and get into position here. And they're going to be able to mow the rest of these guys down. I don't think the bomb is actually going to be able to get pointed. Taz taking a forward position and taking down the rest of them. Ending that with three frags. All right, ESC Gaming wins that easily. Ninjas in Pajamas will be buying here quite quickly. And Faflaren will be AK-47, not going to be able to afford an AWP. That is not good for him. AWPing on this map is pretty important on Terrorist side, especially taking that outside position. And Faflaren does a great job on it, but we know Pasha here with his AWP in the back. Definitely one of the best AWPers right now in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. He's, uh, he's won a lot of points for his team. Alright, looks like we do have three players pushing forward at Ivy. Two players go down to Forrest. Forrest doing a good job on this round. Takes down Manic and Cuban thus far. Terrorists now very, very in a good position. Looks like they're getting ready to push here at Ivy. Pasha forced back by the flash and the smoke. Those players will be pushing out here. Taz on the ground. Pasha now has to hold this off. Only one terrorist is dead. It is going to be a four versus two. Looks very bad for the counter terrorists. And, oh, he does hear that player jump. That's going to be Pasha taking him out. We do have an unconnected on the field, though. I think one player did, in fact, drop. Have to note that this is not, in fact, going to be on LAN. We have Pasha here. Now get in position of Exist, who did miss that shot. We got Neo coming in from the other position. Here is Neo. Neo taking a player down. Now going to be a one versus one. Tying this thing up on this round. 20 seconds left. Looking good for the um, ESC Gaming. Coming back here. Oh, going to be taking down Forrest. Great job by Pasha and Neo. Retaking that. Pasha with three frags there. 
and the ninjas in pajamas do lose that round and uh, we do have an unconnected player there so maybe going to be pausing it not sure we'll see what happens here and no he is going to be walking around that's get right he is back so there will be no pause all right see the pre-need there by maniac on that offer pick position pasha takes out the flaren Great job, Terrace just trying to take outside. They have bought this time. If they lose, they will have to save. Bomb is getting planted now. All right. Looks like they are not going to be finishing planting that bomb. That has exist there inside of the smoke. We've got Pasha here still watching that IV. Kuban does go down. And here's Pasha. All right. Looks like only one Terrace does remain. That's going to be Forrest there. All right, Forrest, one versus four. Don't think it's going to happen here. One minute left. He's got plenty of time to try and pick these guys off. This is like a murder round here. Just trying to pick the players off. We got Maniac here waiting for him. Oh, Forrest takes him down, then falls back. He's got plenty of time to move around here. It looks like the ninjas in pajamas are going to be causing a uh, calling a pause. We are having connection issues from Git right here. It's very unfortunate to happen at this point in the game when the ninjas in pajamas are ahead. So here's Forrest. Three players. Not sure what's going to happen here. He's just going for some picks. Doesn't get it. He knows there's a player there. That's going to be Taz. Taz finishes him off. All right. Looks like we're going to be pausing here and waiting for these uh, for these players to all get back into the game. That's going to be Get Right having some connection problems. Get Right now going to be reconnecting. And it looks like... They are back. The console has spoken. And P Pasha says, you always make us bored and start winning after that. Yeah. So they did, in fact, pause the game. We'll see what happens now. ESC Gaming claiming that they are bored at this point. And that, of course, will lead to their eventual ruin in this game. All right, ninjas in pajamas at four points on the terrorist side. That's that's pretty darn good at this point in the game. We're at round number 12 now. They've got four rounds left to win another one or two rounds, maybe. Ninjas in pajamas going to be buying light here, forcing the buy. Friberg pushing very far forward out here. Good smokes all over the map. Able to push by. It does go down, though. And it looks like the terrorist will be pushing inside. So here's Neo on the ground. And Exist pushing forward. Terrorists trying to take the site. Do take out Neo. Just going to be getting right in Forest left. Looks like they're going to be getting mowed down. Good shooting by Forest. Take it out Maniac before dying. But so we got ESC now at 8 points. Ninjas in Pajamas at 4. And we see the Ninjas in Pajamas here have been playing this very, very aggressively actually for Train. They've been pushing at a lot of different positions. We have ESC Gaming playing this the same way as they usually play this. They put Neo inside, so they've got one player here. They've got Cuban here um, to be able to rotate very fast and get vision both at upper and lower here inside B. Taz is also another player to rotate. Pasha once again getting a pick here at uh, Ivy. Flash is coming out here. Looks like Friberg is planning on pushing out. Smokes are down to prevent against that, but Pasha... Ops him through the smoke and takes him down. Two frags here on Pasha thus far in this round. Here comes Forrest uh, from the ladder. Rotating around the other side, trying to take the site. And... Does take out Taz. And that's going to be a complete slaughter there. Pasha did a good job taking out two players with the op. Did get the pick. And that sort of spelled the rest of the round there. So we're coming on to the, the end of this half now. We're on round number 14. Two rounds left here for the Ninjas in Pajamas. ESC Gaming has gained considerable momentum here. So it looks like Ninjas in Pajamas will be saving for last round. We'll see if they do a, a mass smoke play. Nope, not going to be happening. They will be pushing inside. I expected a mass smoke play and then pushing outside. Okay, so Kuban and Neo are aware that it is going to be a save round. So they're going to be stacking inside and preparing for this. I assume if the rush didn't happen, one of them would rotate back outside. But the rush did happen now. So Taz somehow gets that nade that's been killing those players. Then Neo on the ground here, taking out two players. There's another player from Neo, and the bomb will get defused. Great job by Neo winning that round. Let's get an owl vision on Neo for those three frags. <laughs> All 
All right, we're moving on to the last round here. We are back. Last round of the half, Ninjas in Pajamas will be able to buy. Pasha been doing a great job with that AWP in this. He's been getting picks. So, all right, let's check out where Faflarin goes with the AWP. Actually, Faflarin will not be AWPing, using that AK-47. I, I was confused because guess what, guys? Forest is gonna be AWPing instead of Faflarin. That's interesting. Dropping down that ladder, we'll see what he's able to do with this. Smokes are now down outside. Looks like the ninjas in pajamas are getting ready to push outside. They've got Get Right probably going to be... No, Get Right will be pushing out outside as well. Ninjas in pajamas definitely going to be um, trying something different here in this. Now they're pushing outside. Forest with the AWP. I get to say that very often. And Pasha gets a pick. Forrest kills Taz with the AWP. We got Neo in the rotate position. Pasha is going to be outside. Pasha taking out Forrest. Now going to be a two versus two. The bomb has been planted. Neo fries Friberg. And Pasha pushing forward into the smoke. Faflarin is right on his right there. Pasha and Faflarin, two mortal enemies in this game. We see them go at each other a lot with those AWPs. Faflarin now with the AK-47. Pasha takes him down. Just going to be Exist left. Neo pushing forward out. Exist does go down. Here's Pasha. Shoots him in the foot. Takes him down with a pistol. Does he have enough time to defuse that bomb? The ticker is going down. Five seconds to defuse it. And... Boom! Goes the bomb! Pasha dies! Ninjas in Pajamas wins that last round. Incredibly close there. And we will be moving on to the next half. We will resume once these teams are ready. Keep in mind the Ninjas in Pajamas here are going to be more powerful on the counter-terrorist side. When they play terrorist side first, it usually turns into a comeback game for the Ninjas in Pajamas. However, historically, they've won nearly every single time. So here we go now, the ninjas in pajamas putting up the walls of defense. It's worth noting that the other map that the ninjas in pajamas lost was Mirage, which is a very balanced map. Now, this map is very counter-terrorist sided, so it should favor the ninjas in pajamas. Terrorists pushing outside, all going in the uh, sort of like back hall area. Ninjas in pajamas going to be stacking the back there. Alright, that was good shooting by Maniac there. Looks like the bomb's been planted. The smoke is going to be down. Cuban pushing forward. Gets past Get Right. Get Right flips around and takes him down. Bomb's been planted, so this round is already a success. One versus two here. Maniac versus Faflaren and Exist. He does go down. That bomb will be defused by Exist. Looking good here. The Ninjas in Pajamas do win the first round. Now, the Ninjas in Pajamas won the first round on Terrorist side, and they just won the first round on Counter Terrorist side. Generally, if a team wins both the first rounds, it's going to put them in such a good position, and uh, it, it usually, I mean, statistically, this means the Ninjas in Pajamas have won. I mean, all the signs point to the Ninjas in Pajamas holding it out here and winning this game. So ESC Gaming definitely has their work cut out for them here. And we'll check out how they set up. So, looks like two players are going to be setting up inside for the ninjas in pajamas. We've got Faflarin and Get Right. Alright, looks like Taz is going to be just trying to plant this bomb. This is a save round from ESC. They do get the bomb down, so the round is a success. They will be able to buy that third round. Neo with a great shot off on Forest. Did not want that to happen. And it looks like the ninjas in pajamas will be defusing that bomb. Good round from ESC. They definitely have enough money here to buy on this third round. They've been able to plant two rounds in a row. Bomb has been on train, you see this quite a bit. The terrorists smoke outside completely. And because of that smoke, they're able to run out there and plant the bomb. Because we know that uh, the counter-terrorists are going to play very passive, especially if they have the weapon advantage. They don't want to get into close-range positions. They don't want to get into those close engagements that uh, the Glock is going to be very powerful. I mean, at longer distances, the Glock damage does fall off. So here comes um, ESC on their first buy round, only sending one player inside. We do have two players going to be playing uh, inside from the Ninjas in Pajamas. Pasha with the AWP. Takes a, oh, takes a flash for one damage to the face. Taz getting a pick. We do have even trading around the map thus far. Pasha getting ready to push outside. Taz, here he comes. Does go down. Here comes Pasha with the AWP. 
We see those players moving around the left side. Oh, he does go down. Not looking good here for ESC. And Neo and Kubin, the last players left. Do have Ops still up. That's going to be for Flaren. Exist there, close on the right, taking them down. Not good for ESC. They do lose all their plays. Now, what we've been seeing them do a lot here is they smoke out these positions, prevent these players from having vision, and then they move their players inside and along this back hall. And so, because you're going to have a number of CTs here, their vision is blocked. And they're able to get very good position inside. We've seen ESC do that now um, probably two rounds. So here they come. Looks like they're doing it once again. They've got the smokes down. They're pushing outside. This is a save round, so the goal is to get the bomb planted. Here's Neo already planting this thing. Doesn't take a single shot as he's planting that. counter terrorists generally want to try and shoot him through the smoke as he's trying to plant. This round, going to be going to the ninjas in pajamas, but all they're trying to do is get that bomb down. And there it goes, complete slaughter, but ESC Gaming still doing a good job uh, on Terra's side. It's so difficult. I know they haven't they haven't won a round yet, but they've been getting that bomb planted on their eco rounds. So here they go. They've got another chance to get a point. And we'll check out how they set up once again. This strategy has not worked. Let's see if they, they, uh, they mix it up a little bit here. All right, we see them sending two players inside with Pasha. Pasha's going to go down the ladder. This looks like a carbon copy of what they've been doing. And here comes Pasha now, jumping down the ladder, which means he's going to... No, what? Pasha playing a little bit more aggressively. Look at this, we've got four counter-terrorists here. Back in the site, just going to be Pasha, the lone terrorist here. By the way, pay no attention to this garbage. This is garbage for some reason right now. And playing it very passive. We see Git right now rotating back outside. So now there's only one player inside. That's going to be Fafleren. So we could have an op battle here. Fafleren versus Pasha. Love watching that. And the smokes are down outside. Terrace now getting ready to push. Here they come. Pasha should drop down that ladder. Cuban jumping through here. Neo going to plant that bomb. Counter Terrace getting taken down. Forrest in a sneaky position outside. Is over here at this alternate Evan position, taking down two players. However, there's only one Counter Terrace left. That is going to be Fafleren. Oh, just misses. Neo, one versus four with the AWP. Not looking good for Fafleren. They know where he is. There's Pasha. And that's Pasha taking him down. We saw Pasha standing very still, waiting for Fafleren to show himself. And he did. ESC Gaming taking back that point. That's not going to hurt the economy of the ninjas in pajamas. Look at that. Exist with 6,000 money. And setting up once again two players. One player inside, Get Right, playing by himself. We see them put Get Right by himself quite a bit. So now we've got Pasha playing an Ivy. We've got Fafleren here playing an Ivy. Oh, Fafleren just missing a pick there. Making that noise, that's Cuban. Allowing Pasha to take a little bit of a position here over at Ivy, distracting them a bit. Friberg throwing something through there. And that's going to be a flash, preventing Pasha from opping. Now, he's been boosted up onto this uh, fence position. When you go around the corner there as a counter-terrorist, you do not expect a terrorist to be on top of that fence. It's just not some place you naturally look. And players aren't there as often enough to, uh, to really expect them to be there. So, ooh, Forrest creeping up very far forward. Terrorist going to be pushing inside. Forrest takes a smoke to the face and then gets uh, opt or uh, sprayed down. So we're going to see the rotate here. Gidright taking out two players, playing the forward position inside. Fafleren taking out a player. Gidright now going to be dead. All right, looks like it is going to be a two versus two. Pasha off and a player. Looking good here for ESC. Exist taking out Taz. Just going to be Pasha now. One versus two. We'll see what's going to happen. And with that op. Oh, going to be defusing that bomb. It is a fake defuse. And Exist fakes him out and kills him. Will be defusing that. Ninjas in pajamas putting themselves at 10 points. Still going to be ahead in this game. ESC Gaming has their work cut out for them. They've only won one round here, one out of six thus far in this half. And they've got 11 points. They've got to win five more points to win this game.
Doesn't look good. Doesn't look like it's going to happen. Here is Pasha with the AWP. He spawned in a uh, spawned in a, um, a peak position. He could have gotten a pick. But, however, he didn't go for it. They will be um, smoking out outside. And it looks like they're going to be pushing outside as well. We've got Taz here at the ladder pushing outside. It's going to be an outside take. Getting those smokes out. Worth noting, I think if ESC Gaming loses this round, they will have to save. That's another two points there for Ninjas and Pajamas if they lose. So here they go. They do have the bomb down without even, like, firing and shot. Doing a good job. And here's Taz. Oh, good headshot by Taz. Always can count on Taz to get those one-hit AK-47 headshots. And get right with the rotate. Good spray control. Taz does go down. Going to be Cuban. Somehow picked up and off. Freebird going to be defusing through the smoke. Oh, Cuban takes him down with one second left on that defuse. Great job. Freebird dies, and that bomb will survive to the next round. ESC Gaming wins a point coming back here, and they've got a little bit of economic momentum coming back here. We check out their money. They did have to spend all their money here once again, so they're still in the hot seat here on this round. If they lose, they probably have to save once again. Pasha going for picks. Forced back. Takes a whole bunch of damage. Ooh, Forrest is going to be chasing him. He's got his buddy to help. Now down to seven health. Pasha... Falling back, Forrest doing a good job chasing him down, not allowing Pasha to take any position there. Pasha down to 7 health with that AWP, not looking good. Alright, so we got the bomb forward here at inside. They could still take that bomb down the ladder, so we could still go either way, but we got Neo playing it very far forward. We've got Taz as well inside. Taz and Neo, so it looks like ESC will be bringing this bomb inside. Here they come now. Oh, we do have one player headshot position there waiting for them. No ops on the Ninjas in Pajamas. We check out their money, that's why. If the if ESC Gaming wins, Ninjas in Pajamas will have to save. That's going to be huge for ESC. That's going to be two points. That'll put them at 14. That is close to winning. Could be a quick turnaround here. All right, trying to hit that player, going for the headshot. That's a headshot position. All right. Terrace now will be pushing out. Get right at the forward position, waiting for these guys. Does get taken down by Neo. Here's Maniac taking a bunch of spray. All of the terrorists are low. Pasha and Cuban down. 13 health apiece. Looks bad for ESE. I think that Ninjas in Pajamas will pick this thing up. Just going to be Taz. One versus the world. He does go down. The Ninjas in Pajamas will defuse that bomb. That'll put ESC so far behind now. Ninjas in Pajamas takes that point. ESC, we check out their money. It looks like they're going to have to save. And Oh, actually, look at all that money. They may be able to buy here. Well, let's see if they go for it. No, they will be saving. We see them do a good job. Let's actually go on smoke vision here. This is my smoke vision. We're gonna They're going to smoke over the top and try to plant out. Look at these guys. Literally, they're so excited to smoke. They're like, yeah, let's do this thing. Running outside with those things like, yes, smoke. We'll see how those things go all across the map. No smokes in the... Oh, there's the good smoke. This is the danger zone here. All right, so... Oh, this is so sneaky. Freiburg is aware of this, though. Uh, we saw what they did. They did the smoke like they were going to run outside and plant. They even fooled me. And then they ran outside and got behind the counter terrace because they're all spraying through the smoke. Pasha, one health left. Has to ace it, but he does die. That was okay. That was a nice try by ESC. That was a very clever strategy. They threw the smokes outside, pretended like they're going to do that outside push to, to get that bomb plant. Instead, they all went ivy. We saw the ninjas in pajamas all just spraying through the smoke, but it did not work out for them. Okay, so Pasha is AFK. That's scaring me a little bit. Ninjas in pajamas taking position everywhere. Kuban coming back like, hey, buddy, are you okay? Are you okay, buddy? Come back to me. Poor Pasha's like, it's something I ate, I don't know. So we do have some lag here. Very unfortunate. That's why playing on LAN is a lot better. Not just for this. For a lot of reasons. So we have Pasha here. So what ESC is going to do in this round is they're going to buy time to try and get Pasha back in the game so they can play in this round. We've got a minute left. He will not be able to buy a weapon. We'll see if somebody bought a weapon for him. No, not going to happen. Looks like ESC has lost their opera here. 
And look at all that money. 4,900 here from Pasha. Will not be able to use that. Oh, dear. Pause! Cuban yells pause. At ends. So they're going to play the round. Oh, Pasha's back. We saw him shake that thing a little bit. Shake it. Shake, shake, shake. Shank your Glock. Look at him. He's happy. He is back. He is ready. He's asking his teammates for a gun, but he gets none. He is going to be trying to Glock this thing. Here comes Neo from the ladder. Smokes are down outside. Once again, going to be pushing in this back hall here. They've done this a lot. Freberg should be spraying and should be aware that they've been doing this. Cuban, good shot. Trying to plant that bomb. Does get it down. Three versus two now. Ninjas in pajamas has to try to retake this. Pasha's dead. Oh, great shot by Cuban. That was brilliant. One player left. That is going to be Friberg. One versus three with the bomb planted. Looks bad for him. And, oh, that defensive smoke's not going to help him at all. Does take out Cuban. His pushing forward is going to be going for it here. Mowed down by Neo. Ninjas in pajamas loses that, but they will be able to buy on this next round. All right. ESC Gaming still has to win three rounds to win this. And let's try. Maybe he's going to have sound problems. If he has no sound, pause again. Ready. So, it does look like Pasha does have sound problems, so they will be trying to pause this game. Cuban calling a pause. It's not happening for some reason. This is unfortunate. I hate when this happens. And it's paused. Good. And we are paused. I'll give you some elevator music. No, we're back already. No elevator music. All right, Pasha picks up his off. He has rejoined the game. He does have sound. He is ready to own some noobs. A little late for him to peek. Ooh! I don't know if he saw that player. If you can see him through there. No, he is behind a box. That is so... That is forest right there. I don't know if he... Oh, he does hit forest through that. He did see the little pixel moving around back there. Pasha happened about that. Moving his uh, his op back and forth in triumph after getting that little bit of damage off on him. Here's Neo pushing forward inside. We've seen him do this nearly every round. We got Freberg to hold this off. Poor guy. Freberg only with a, a P250 here. Neo by himself inside playing the get right position. All right. Terrorists have a little bit of an advantage. 30 seconds left. They have to push now. So it is going to be a 30-second push. Maniac leading the charge out there. Going to be trying to get that bomb down. Taz has the bomb. Here is Cuban. Oh, lots of spraying going down. Taz will be planting that bomb inside of the smoke. It's not all lost there. Neo and Taz going to try and take this thing. Taking out two players. Now going to be a two versus two. Get right is going to be using that... Uh, Auto Sniper, now a one versus one. Neo versus Freebird. This is a very important round. And he takes them down. ASC Gaming putting themselves at 14 points. Putting themselves in positions to win this game. I didn't think it was possible. Let's get on Kit right and watch that auto sniping in our Owl Vision camera. <laughs> All right, and we are back. That was an important round. Looks like the ninjas in pajamas here will be forced to save. Get right. Playing inside with the Mag 7, but I don't think that the terrorists are going to fall for this. They are all going to be going outside. So get right will have to come in from behind with this Mag 7. Terrorists pushing outside. Here comes get right. Neo's down there waiting for him. We'll see if he does it. Oh, he misses. Comes down. Oh, gets taken down. What's going on here? We actually see a number of terrorists are actually dead by pistols, and these counter-terrorists are able to pick up their guns. That's going to be Freberg somehow killing those players. Oh, wow. Actually putting it in a position here where ESC could lose this round that was almost guaranteed to them. That's not good. We just have Neo and Taz left. Two versus three. They do get the bomb planted inside. Counter-terrorists will be rotating. Should come from all positions at once. And here's Faflarin against Taz. Taz takes him out. Here's Neo. Actually, here comes Taz once again. 
Poor Forrest, the last player left. Neo kills a player with a, uh, a nade. And he takes him down. Great job there by ESC Gaming. Winning that round, putting themselves now. And 15 points. Good job by Friberg, though. Killing a guy with a pistol. All right, and we're moving on to match point here. ESC Gaming at 15 points. They only have to win one more round to win this game. Ninjas in pajamas, forced to buy. They've spent all of their money. They're not able to get full flashes and offs. They've just got a bunch of flashes here. Here comes Taz. Coming down the ladder, has been smoked out. He will be pushing through the smoke. Looks like ESC Gaming will be pushing outside. This could be history here. Taz just trying to get this bomb planted inside of the smoke. Pasha, opping players down. Three have died. This looks very, very scary for the ninjas in pajamas. And, oh, that's going to be it. Ninjas in pajamas Lewis loses a game. I don't get to say that very often. ESC Gaming wins. Now, there were technical difficulties in that match that could have hindered the ninjas in pajamas in terms of performance and uh, concentration and that sort of stuff. I'm not going to make any excuses because this does, in fact, count as a loss for the ninjas in pajamas on their record. So, officially, the ninjas in pajamas has now lost uh, two games here. When, when they're actually playing for reals in a tournament, etc. They've lost another game that it, I don't think really counts. And they have not lost at LAN. So congratulations to ESC Gaming being the second team here to take them down. I'm the War Owl, and I still have no closer.